I'm Ted Canavis, former Republican state senator. And I'm Chuck Qualla, former Democratic state senator, and we're the insiders. This is our two-minute take. Chuck, I remember when we were serving, uh, you know, July 4th meant something. You know, not only was it a celebration of America, but it was a celebration of, of our communities. And it reminded me of why we chose to serve, I, at least for me, and I know it's probably true for you, is that you wanted to try to contribute to the community. You wanted to serve. And it was a service job, and you treated it as such. And you treated the other people, whether they're Democrats, Republicans, liberal, conservative, with a modicum of, of grace and a modicum of you know, respect for the fact that they made this choice to serve. And now we've kind of fallen into a time where it's turned into just a free-for-all, a bloodbath politically. And I'm really concerned about it. I think that's something that we need to talk about. Well, I, th I agree with everything Ted said, and you would actually see your Republican colleagues at the parades, mm -hmm. and it was a good experience, and you'd, you'd get to see their families. I'll never yeah. forget Tom Storm and what a wonderful family he had when I first ran for the state Senate, and we would both gas up at the same gas station, go down to Monroe for the parades mm -hmm. and things. These were good things, and they brought people a little bit closer together, and you got to see them as human beings. The problem now is that the parades still happen. I'm in Tomahawk every 4th of July and watch the people come through, the politicians and others come through mm -hmm. the parade. But what you know as you stand there, if you're on the inside, mm -hmm. it's meaningless. It all comes down to the million dollars that some group will dump in and take out a person like Julie Rasa, who was a wonderful public servant, who did nothing wrong, a very likable person, and yet she's gone. Somehow what's happened is that the whole thing has been degraded, in my view, not just by the debate, but by the money, which means that no one is safe. No matter how many parades you go to, no matter how much constituent service you've done, it's not going to be taken into account. And that's a sad thing, a loss of civility, a loss of grace, as Ted mm -hmm. said, and something that really moves us away from grassroots democracy, and I don't think grassroots are coming back. Yeah, I think that's probably true, unfortunately. I think the biggest thing we can do to bring it back, if we're going to do anything, is elect people that really want to be part of a body, like a Senate or an Assembly, and they want to work together. That's the kind of people we want. Okay, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Happy 4th of July.